With Philippine Airlines, the country's flag carrier. The airline that lets you feel the warmth of the nation. Mabuhay. Usaka pagtuo. Usaka tingog. Usaka katawan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Gikan sa MTV CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas 12. Punuhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Negative RT-PCR test o antigen test result di na kinahanglan kung musod sa Sugbo. Nagpatuong ahinti sa PDA 7 na sikop na kuhaanog siya buog armas. Mayong udto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa inyong sang puwersa sa CCTN News Team. Kami muhatod kaninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karun sa detalye sa atong mga balita, di na kinahanglan pa ang mapakita o negative na RT-PCR test o antigen test result ang mga bayahero nga bakunado gikan sa ubang nasod paingon sa probinsya sa Sugbo. Si Governor Gwendolyn Garcia niluwat og sa ka Executive Order number no. 15 nga nisagop sa Interagency Task Force nga resolution number no. 168 sa pagtangtang na sa negative nga RT-PCR test sa requirements sa mga langyaw og Pilipino nga moabot din sa nasod. Lakip sa ipakita sa proof of vaccination sama sa World Health Organization International Certificate o vaccination, ingon man ang uh, uban pa ng mga gikinhanglan unya ng mga certificate o vaccination card gikan sa nasod kundiin kinigikan. Sa mga langyaw nga wa pa'y booster siya, gikinhanglan mo pakita kini o RT-PCR test kuha sod sa 48 ka oras o antigen test nga nakuha sod sa 24 oras sa di pa ang adlaw o oras sa paglarga gikan sa ilang gigikanan. Ang mga fully vaccinated ng mga Pilipino national nga nakakuha na pod o ga booster shot, din na kinahanglan pa nga mapakita og RT-PCR test o antigen test result gawas lang sa mga fully vaccinated nga wa pay booster shot. NBI 7 Satellite Office sa Dakbayan sa Talisay, formal nang giablihan kagahapong adlaw ang kasayuran ihatod ni Desimay Padilla. Formal na nga giablihan sa National Bureau of Investigation kung NBI-7 ang hilahang satellite office di akilid sa may flyover sa Tabunok, Dakbayan, sa Talisay, Karong Adlawa. Mato ni NBI-7 Regional Director Attorney Renan Oliva nga gawa sa NBI clearance nga pwede makuha sa mga satellite office ang katawhan. Pwede sa mudangop sa mga buhatan kung doon na sila yung mga reklamo o i-refer kininga to sa ilang main office. Ang satellite office taon-taon na nga nagservisyo sa katawhan sa Dakbayan sa Talisay apan karong adawa lang gihima ang formal nga pagbukas ng hindi ini. Uh, let me add, clearance satellite offices na ni sa clearance. Pero kung pwede ka rin mo sumbong kung nakay complaint, i-refer ka dito sa office. Uh, di ra purely nga clearance. You can you can request the the OIC or head sa atong satellite office mo reklamo ko para endorse ka. Not only we are catering sa mga taga Talisay City, but We are also helping them not only sa clearance but also our investigative services, forensic services. Na atatanan kung gusto mo magpautopsi na apod, kompleto. You can go to our office here. Initially, request if forward na dito sa kwan sa office na to sa main. 
Kaya ang ato diriwa, ang investigador na ito, ang technical naman sa May. Ikalisay City Mayor Gerald Anthony Samsangulias Mihulagway ngang maong satellite office da kong ikatabang sa Dakbayan. Dungan sa pagbutyag na nasubay kini sa iyang gibuhat ato sa unang termino ni iniisip mayor sa Talisay City ng mapaduol ang police services sa katawan o karon ang NBI services na sub. Ang ato ang goal ang gironta sa ni ato ang umaabot na bag-o na administrasyon is to bring government offices in Talisay na makatabang sa mga katawahan din. Ang gipahibaw sa mga attorney Oliva nga tinguha sa NBI karong nga po ng usa ka tawo nga mukha og NBI clearance mahit inay magpaabot og tulo ka adlaw aron ma-clear da ang ngalan usa ka adlaw na lang ang iyang huwaton kun ma-clear da ang ngalan sa sulod nga kuha ni og NBI clearance dili na kini mahit gawas lang kun ang mukha o kakapangalan ini dunay mahimo nga kaso pero kung kato lang particular nga case nga na-cleared ka kung kato lang gihapon mo appear mapapas na na Muna yung trabaho ron sa NBI management this year para di na mahasul ang publiko. That is our frontline services. We are working. It is a work in progress nga ma-perfect na ito. Masayran yung nagplano ang NBI 7 na magbutang sa bong satellite offices sa Toledo City aron dili na nila kinahang ng pamuad to ang sudad. Diha asab sa lungsod sa konsolasyon, ingon man sa daan bantayan, tungod kay gusto gud sa NBI nga komportable ang mga aplikante nga mao'y rason nga doon nasab sila yung mga satellite offices sa mga malls. Decime Padilla, CCT News. Patay ang usa ka noy bianyos nga batang babae human na apil sa pagkasunog sa usa ka tindahan sa Sitio Sangi, Barangay Tubigag Manok, lungsod sa Asturias kagahapon sa buntag. Ang nalakip sa pagkasunog na ilang nga si Daniel Faith Dihano, taga dito ra usab sa Moong Dapit. Ang larma na dawat sa kabombiruhan alas 5:00 sa buntag og napaong kini pasado na alas 6 sa buntag. Matod ni Fire Officer 2, Ruji Alcantara, ang fire investigator ni Ingon nga naglambigit og tindahan sa usa ka Rimon Banate ang maong sunog. Gibanabana nga moabot ngadto sa 270 mil ang danyo sa sunog din usa sa hingpit nga naugdaw og lima ka mga panimay ang na danyos. Naghimo pa og investigasyon ang kabombiruhan kon asa nagsugod ang kayo o kung anong naapil ang bata sa pagkasunog. Ano na person of interest ang kapulisan sa syudad sa Sugbo sa duha ka mga kasong pagpamusil diin ang mga biktima na patay gayon na itabo kinini at itong Domingo sa Buntag. Matod ni Police Lieutenant Colonel Janet Rafter, ang Deputy Director for Operations sa Cebu City Police Office, nga ang suspek sa pagpamusil sa Sitio Mahayahay, Barangay Godalupi, ilan ang nailhan o sa kaalias nike ang gitumbok din ang anggulo nga ilang gisubay mo ang illegal nga drugas. Gila na usab sa kabanay ang biktima nga mao si Jonas James Cavihar nga taga Sambag 1 dakbayan sa Subo. Ang Guadalupe Police Station mopasaka nag kaso sa korte kon kompleto na nila ang mga ebidensya samtang sa pagpamusil usab sa barangay Karita din ang biktima mao si Rexter Leonardo Anyura nga taga Sitio Negative na ilhan na usab nila ang suspek walang una muhatag og dugang detalye pa si Rafter sang lipadayon pa ang ilang investigasyon. Muabot sa 255 mil pesos ng ito ang siyamo na sakmit sa mga sakop sa Upaw Police Station. Ang uh, suspek o sa high value target o gano'n na sa kaso kanian to o ganit na preso na kini. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Mary Rose Sagarino. Nasakmit sa sakop sa Upaw Police Station ang mukabat sa 255 mil pesos nga kantidad sa gituuhang shabu ato sa Bybast Operation sa Superior Barangay Luok ni Adtong Lunis sa Kadlaon. Nasikop sa kapulisan si Willier Dasilis Coyos, 44 anyos taga Barangay Lurega, Dakbayan sa Sugbo. Nakuha gikan sa sospek ang 30 gramos nga gituuhang shabu o 500 pesos nga Bybast Money. Si Police Major Philip John Lebres, happy sa Upaw Police Station ni Ingon na si Coyos Akinsa gikonsiderar nga high value target na sikop na ni Adtong Tuig 2018 sa munisipyo sa Liluan tungod sa pagpamaligya o ginadiling drogas. Apan ang kagawa sa prisuhan ni Adtong Marso 3 sa Tuig 2020, human siya naka-avail sa plea bargaining. Balik po siya, balik po siya um, doa, mas di dako na nun ang iyahang kuan, iyahang doa. Since dakop niya sa Liluan is sa sasya lang to, 2018 o no? 
si Koyo sa iyang bahin ni Ingon nga nakahukom siya nga mamaligya og drogas pagbalik tungod sa financial problem. Matod ni ini nga nagtrabaho siya kaniato sa usa ka warehouse apan dili igo ang kita. Ang suspect kasamtangang dibalhog sa police station o nagatubang o kaso ubo sa Republic Act 9165 o Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2022. Mary Rosa Garino, CCTN News. Nasikop sa mga sakop sa Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency 7 sa Regional Special Enforcement Team ang nagpailang ahinte sa Pidiya sa may sitio Magay, Barangay Tanke, Syudad sa Talisay. Ang suspect gilang nga si Noel Evalye, 26 anyos nga Mulupio Rosam, niha sa Maong Dapit. Matod ni Lia Alcantara, ang information officer sa PDA 7, nga ang mudo sa suspect magpaila sa mga drug personality nga usa siya kaahinti sa PDA o mangilkil kinig kwarta o iligal nga drugas. Ang drugas nga iyang makuha, iyaraw sa mga ibaligya nga ito sa mga manayupay sa tangki talisay. Usa sa mga kasaligang tinubdan sa PDA, ang mihatag kanila og kasayuran o human na suta. Ang tinuod ng makasayuran, gilusan niya dayon ang by-bust operation na may resulta sa pagkasikop ni Ibalye. Nakuhaan kini o pinakiti ng gituhuang shabu ng mutimbang o jis gramos na doon ay standard drug price nga sa isinta i-8 mil pesos. Ugo sa kaarmas sa iyang posisyon, ingon man bala sa 9mm pistol. Mokad to atong mga balita sa alas 12 sa ngan sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTA News and Current Affairs. Ako si Dennis Tabar. Atangi ang atong Sire 47 karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next ang Santos nga Misa manukad live sa CCTA Chapel. Daghang salamat.
Daily Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Feka Bahug and Family. Friends, through the intercession of Saint Justin the Martyr, we offer to the Lord our individual and communal intentions. We pray for all our beloved dead, and we pray for all those who are celebrating their birthdays and anniversaries today and this month. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries by calling to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through the folly of the cross wondrously taught St. Justin the Martyr the surpassing knowledge of Jesus Christ, grant us through his intercession that having rejected deception and error, we may become steadfast in the faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Miletus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the church of Ephesus. Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock, of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, in which you tend the church of God that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come among you, and they will not spare the flock. 
and from your own group, men will come forward perverting the truth to draw the disciples away after them. So be vigilant and remember that for three years, night and day, I unceasingly admonish each of you with tears. And now I commend you to God and to that gracious word of his that can build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are consecrated. I have never wanted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You know well that these very hands have served my needs and my companions. In every way, I have shown you that by hard work of that sort, we must help the weak and keep in mind the words of the Lord Jesus, who himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. They were all weeping loudly as they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him, for they were deeply distressed that he had said that they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the sheep. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one, just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost, except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word and the world hated them because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world. I consecrate myself for them so that they also may be consecrated in truth. The good news of our salvation. Sisters and brothers, under the shadow of the Paschal mystery, the Lord asked his heavenly Father to give his disciples three special gifts, joy, protection, and holiness. The Lord knew that these spiritual gifts would truly help his followers persevere in their communion with him and with his mission in the midst of and in the depths of this world. Emphasis on those particular phrases, in the midst of and in the depths of this world. In ana ka immerse ang mission na gihatag sa ginoo ngadto sa iyang mga tinunan. Dire ka na to. My dear friends, the Lord did not pray that His disciples would be untouched by the struggles of this world. No. He did not pray for such grace. Instead, He prayed that his disciples amidst the world and in the depths of the world would not be possessed by worldly cares. In the world, but not of this world. He knew very well, my dear friends, that the antipathy of the secular realm, the realm of Satan, I would say, against the mystical body of Christ here on earth, the church, would be perpetuated by this reality. The controversy between Satan and the Lord himself. This would be perpetuated by the antipathy of the secular world against the spiritual realm. Claro ay na siya. The world is resistant to the gospel and its values. 
I think that's obvious. Why is that? Because the world is bent on contaminating believers with its deadly deceptions and delusions. Mone gustos kalibutan to bring forth the culture of death and take away from us the gift of life. My dear friends, whether we like it or not, the kingdom of Satan hates the kingdom of God. Why? Because the latter has a source of joy and peace that the former cannot produce and cannot explain. Maogun na ilang masukan. Why Christians have this source of joy that they, and I mean the enemies, they do not possess and they cannot possibly offer. Mauna makingsunan, the Lord has called His disciples to be a different group in the world. So, klaro ang ang term, ha? Different group in the world but not separate from the world nga naman unsa may intention sa gino different but not separate so that the world dark as it is will not be without any light or any help at all hindi ba isa bunyag matagusan na to gipaabot nga mamahimong salt of the earth and light of the world Kung kita magpalayo sa kalibutan to isolate ourselves from the world, what happens to the world? It will slide down to decay and degradation. That's why we must engage with the world. But in doing so, we must be careful that we would not be influenced in the process. My dear friends, the high priestly prayer of the Lord reminds us that we, believers, and our concerns are truly central to the daily conversations of the Lord with His Heavenly Father. For me, that's the most consoling part. Basahan ninyo ang high priestly prayer niya contained in John. Klarok ay wagid siya hisgot sa ikaw galing ng panginahanglan. He only had in his heart believers and their concerns, the dangers that awaited them. And so, as we receive the Lord a few moments from now in Holy Communion, let us beg Him, Lord, we know very well that we are not of this world. But sorry, Lord, many times we conduct ourselves as if the world is our real home. We forget that we are only on a pilgrimage towards a real home, and that is with you. With the grace of Holy Communion, help us to be different from the world, but not separate from the world. Amen. In his priestly prayer at the Last Supper, Jesus prayed to the Father for his disciples who remain in the world. They belong to the Father even as they have been given to the Son. Let us pray to God to protect us. Lord, teach us to be faithful. Lord, teach us to be faithful. May the Lord keep us from falling into temptation and deliver us from the snares and influence of Satan. We pray. Lord, teach us to be faithful. May the name of Jesus and the Blessed Virgin Mary be our defense and protection against the attacks of evil spirits. We pray. 
Lord, teach us to be faithful. May Saint Michael, the Archangel, by the power of God, trust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. We pray. Lord, teach us to be faithful. May we be spared from the faith of Judas Iscariot, who allowed the devil to enter into him and thus became the son of destruction. We pray. Lord, teach us to be faithful. May we not invite destruction to ourselves and engaging in spiritism, superstitions, and the occult. We pray. Lord, teach us to be faithful. Let the servant of God, Chofilo Kamomot Bishop, may be raised to the glory of the altars. We pray. Lord, teach us to be faithful. Lord, keep us from the evil one. And may your power and your love surround us, enfold us, and protect us. May you be our strength and safe harbor wherever we are. Amen. Amen. Beloved, pray that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, that we may celebrate worthily these mysteries which St. Justin strenuously defended through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Justin, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness, through Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim.
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, together with all the bishops, the clergy, and the religious everywhere. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Justin, together with all the martyrs and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with yours. We now offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Beloved, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to partake of the sacred banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed.
Let us pray. Refreshed by heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that attentive to the teaching of St. Justin the Martyr, we may abide at all times in thanksgiving for the gifts we have received. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Consecration to the Most Holy Spouse of the Blessed Virgin. Together, O glorious Patriarch and Patron of the Church, O Virgin Spouse of the Virgin Mother of God, O Guardian and Virginal Father of the Word Incarnate, in the presence of Jesus and Mary, I choose you this day to be my Father, my Guardian, and my Protector. O Great Saint Joseph, whom God has made the head of the Holy Family, accept me, I beseech you, though utterly unworthy, to be a member of your Holy House. Present me to your Immaculate Spouse. Ask her to adopt me as her child. With her, pray that I may constantly think of Jesus and serve him faithfully to the end of my life. O terror of demons, increase in me virtue, protect me from the evil one, and help me not to offend God in any way. O my spiritual father, I hereby consecrate myself to you in faithful imitation of Jesus and Mary. I place myself and all my concerns under your care and protection. To you, after Jesus and Mary, I consecrate my body and soul with all their faculties, my spiritual growth, my home, and all my affairs and undertakings. Forsake me not, but adopt me as a servant and child of the Holy Family. Watch over me at all times, but especially at the hour of my death. Console and strengthen me with the presence of Jesus and Mary, so that with you I may praise and adore the Holy Trinity for all eternity. Amen. The Litany Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, noble offspring of David, light of patriarchs, spouse of the Mother of God, chaste guardian of the Virgin, foster father of the Son of God, zealous defender of Christ, head of the Holy Family, Joseph most just, Joseph most chaste, Joseph most prudent, Joseph most courageous, Joseph most obedient, Joseph most faithful, mirror of patience, lover of poverty, model of workmen, glory of domestic life, guardian of virgins, pillar of families, comfort of the afflicted, hope of the sick, patron of the dying, terror of demons, protector of the Holy Church. He has made him Lord of his household. And prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother, grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, in this Eucharistic celebration, we are reminded that we are supposed to be different from the world, but not separate from it. Please find time to pray over the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 6, verses 17 to 18. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist is offered. Go forth, glorifying God in your lives. Thanks be to God. Thank you and take care.
coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family.